you know, some of Dan's advice to me was, man, you got a lot of stuff that's just out of your control and that just is what it is. Why don't you set a crazy, audacious, scary goal that you can control, but something that, you know, to you right now seems impossible. He said, you know, what, what is that? What, what's that thing that right now feels absolutely impossible, just crazy to even think about doing? And I was like, well, I don't know, running a marathon? You know, Dan's a crazy ultra endurance athlete. I was like, you know, running a marathon sounds very crazy. For us, I've ever run this seven miles. He's like, well, why just do it? If I would have gotten on Facebook Live and I would have heard uh, what I'm saying now, I'd have been like, man, screw this guy. You know, he doesn't understand my situation, right? He doesn't understand where I'm at. He doesn't understand, understand how bad this situation that I'm in right now sucks. He doesn't understand how terrible my boss is. He doesn't understand how horrible my significant other is or how bad this situation is with my family or my job or whatever. And I could imagine some frustration there. And, and so I, I want to tell you this, that like I, I was there, like I was there. Um, but here's what I know, and, and ultimately, you know, what I came to that realization that everything that had happened to me, everything that was happening to me, everything that I had done, the situation that I was in, and that financial situation, physical situation, um, relationship, that's like it was all my fault. At the end of the day, it was all my fault. Um, and that's ultimately the realization that you have to come down to is that everything that has happened to you and everything that you are doing, it's, it's your fault. And it's just the truth. Every, everything is your fault. And I want to be clear when I say that, especially to those that have had things that happened to them as a child, especially those that have been victim of any type of abuse, assault, um, that that was not your fault. However, Allowing that circumstance to still own you five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years later is 100% your fault. So when you realize that everything's your fault, it's liberating and it's freeing because you know that you now have the keys to those handcuffs that have been binding you for so long. When you put the blame on other people, you give them the keys to your handcuffs. And you're, you're, you have no power. You have no power. When you take ownership, which is what that is, it's taking ownership, it's taking personal responsibility, then you take back that key. So it's so easy, like last night, flight canceled, Plans all changed, had to rearrange everything for this week. It's so easy to get frustrated by these things that are out of your control. Um, or you can just stay level-headed and think of the positive in every situation. And just got a good workout in this morning at the gym here in Greenville. And uh, gonna make it a great day. Head out uh, tonight instead of last night. Get everything done that I needed to get done. And hey, it's not the end of the world. So I challenge you guys. Don't let little things frustrate you. Don't let little, let little things get you. Don't let little things steal your capacity. Just do what you got to do.